took seriously their character and not the real person so mm -hmm. don't be cool yeah don't be played don't be played i like that i like that 
And Rello, same, same question, question for you. you. Don't, Don't be fooled, fooled by the person in the mask. How does that resonate with you? And what does that mean to you? Um, sounds like don't, don't be fooled, fooled by, by the person, person on the screen. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. You know, it relates to, 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 to tag as well. <laughs> it, it, it definitely does. It definitely does. Because we are surrounded by uh, a lot of tag questions today. Um, Kia Diamond, welcome to the show. Same question for you. Don't be fooled by the person inside the mask. Does that resonate with what does it mean to you? Anything different from what they said here on the panel? I mean, I can agree with everybody on the panel. Shout out to the panel and the host, most definitely. Thank y'all for having me. Uh, I say when I hear that, I, I think uh, of the old saying, um, you know, about wolves and sheep clothing. So, you know what I mean? That's, that's kind of what they remind me of, most definitely. And, uh, you know, uh, I always, you know, just you know, be on the lookout. For when, when people, people trying to get old, you know, because you, you never know, know these days, especially. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, if, if y'all don't, don't know the show, and if you do know the show, show y'all know, like, go ahead and just, you know, break, break the ice, break it with a nice question. question. Now we're going to jump into the questions that's really going to make um, them get off their toes and attack. So, Loxie, since we have a top badge time, we're going to go right into it. Top badges, they have this persona on the app where they're not seen in good lights. Why do you believe there are rumors around the app that top badges are not good people? What are your thoughts on that? Um, I believe when people get in higher positions, whether it's top badges, managers at work, or any other place where they're so-called elevated, um, sometimes it can go to your head and you can forget that you're human. And you can forget to give grace. You can forget to give grace. Um, and it can just get to your head, you know? And, and so they take advantage of the position that they have. And they, they don't, don't treat people how they would want to be treated. They don't remember or try and remember how, you know, it felt when they were trying to come up and be in a position that you're in. Absolutely, absolutely. Welcome, 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 welcome to Life, Happiness, Here. We're with Strawberry Red. I see y'all down there in chat. Make sure y'all fade everyone here on the panel. Thank y'all for the gifts. Make sure y'all support everyone we appreciate y'all. Make sure y'all engage. Drop y'all answers in the chat as well. Y'all can answer these questions as well. Our topic is don't be fooled by the person inside the mask. We are on part two. All right, Pillow, same question to you. Why do you believe that top badges have such a bad rap on the app and their persona uh, not seen in a good light? What are your thoughts? Um, they get a bad rap from the way they carry themselves and what they put out on their own. Like, um, some of them feel entitled to because their journey has been so long. And um, when pe new people come in, they feel like, you know, you gotta hit the gift box. Um, I'm who I am. Do you know who I am? You know what I mean? Like that. So um, that's just my opinion right there. Like they feel entitled to. Now, you can change the way people view top badges by treating the people that's brand new and the people that have been in your street for years just differently. Because our, our names on here shouldn't be put in the dirt like that for all the work we put in. We put in a lot of work to get that badge by our name. So don't discredit it and don't, um, don't feel so entitled to anything. I like, I like that, that um, entitlement. Exactly. exactly. Now, now, what, what about, um, Pilla, I'm going to ask you a follow-up question. What, what about, about the new upcoming, upcoming top badges, badges that become top badges? badges? You know, they, they haven't even got, got their full badge, and yet they're, they're getting the bad image already just because, because they wear that badge. What about those top badges that are, are good, good top badges, badges but they, they still get that slander? Um, I think we all do because I think somebody came into my stream and I'm an old streamer, six years, you know, on the app. Um, so we all get that. Um, the new ones, if y'all about what y'all 
supposed to then change the perception. Change the perception of it. You got to understand the entitlement of the streamers that were tops before I even got my badge. It was so tight lip on here. Nobody told you how to get a badge. No, it wasn't no button at the top of the app to press to do an application. There was no rundown. Um, so I myself reached out to Jill, the admin, and was like, how do you get a badge? You know, and she told me, you know, so um, the tops back then were tight lipped. And they was like, figure it out. And then a new wave came in, like Pillow, like Kingy, like Rello. And once we learned it, we started teaching it because it was not taught to us. It was an on-hand learning experience. Mm. And the new ones, y'all come in, I think they're getting it a lot quicker <laughs> um, without that road of experience. Um some of them, and I ain't even going to brag, but I still mentor some top badges. And they already got the badge by their name, and I still mentor them. And that's just because my my I've been through a lot of it, so they want my opinion on it. Um, but the new ones, change it. Make our name um, better on here, like, you know. I like, I like that. I like that. that. And I like, I like the fact that you said some people, people are still getting mentored. mentored. I, feel I feel like you can, can never stop growing, growing um, on the app. app. So, so whether, whether you become, become a top badge, you become an admin, you're a new streamer, we always can still learn no matter how old we are. <laughs> <laughs> I am learning something new every day. So if you can still get mentored and still get education by someone who has been around and who has got that experience, Make, Make sure you um, are, are taking, taking all of those good cues and applying it. You know, you, know, you just can't watch it. You also got to apply it as well. well. So I'm glad, glad that you said that. that. Um, Rello, um, same question for you. Why do you believe some top badges are getting bad reps? Um, anything different from the two ladies and what they mentioned on the panel? I think I like, but I think uh, kind of like Philo said, it's, it's just a lot different. different. Back, Back then, then, I mean, I had a top bag about five years, years now. So, it, it was a lot harder to get a top badge. badge. Now, now it's just, just like, I ain't gonna say it's less harder, harder but it's, it's, it's more strategic and it's, it's easier to obtain than, than it was. Um, because, because you really had, had to, to to be like, like really doing, doing a whole lot in your stream or, or making a lot of emotion in your stream back then. And, and now, you know, you know the emotion ain't the same, period. So, and then and a lot of people focus on the wrong things, things, I think. So, so they, they, see, they see people, people focused on numbers, diamonds, or gifts instead of the people, and they, and they, and they run, run away. They get scared, scared away. away. So, a lot of times, that's what it is. I think I believe. People get the um, bad things in their mouth because of that. I like that you uh, mentioned they focus on the wrong things. Exactly. I think a lot of people got to start focusing in on your people and paying attention to who's around you versus the diamonds. The diamonds will always come as long as you treat people with the right type of respect and courtesy in their stream. And I never said treat people how you want to be treated. I do it the opposite way. Treat people how they want to be treated. Because they may not want to be treated the way that you want to be treated. So if y'all can remember that, remember you can go a long ways. Look at the person. And I'm big on this word, value. How much do you value someone? Um, not just for their pockets, but value them as an individual. And Kia Diamond, same question for you. Uh, why do you believe top badges are getting such a bad rap or look at it in the wrong type of light? Um, let me see. I guess I'm going to be the one to say it. It's the stigma of the top badge, right? Uh, people who don't even know you. You know, it, it comes from, like, jealousy. Oh, you a top badge, so you did it. People tend to do things, like, I always, I always tell, tell people, people like this, man. You know, you know whether you're top badge or not, you know, know if you're an a hole, you just a hole. You know, uh, so it, like people are people. You know what I mean? And that's, that's just how it comes down to. You know, but for me, what I see more is it really just how people are carrying themselves? Because this is the app. This is what we came here to do. We came here to get down. We came here to hit milestones and, 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 and you know, uh, move numbers and things like that. And you know. 
what we came here for. All that cash out and all that. That's what you know. That's what it's here for. However, with that being said, you know, I just think more so, especially nowadays. You know, it's the stigma of the badge, and then the newer badges. You know, because I'm, I'm somewhat of OG now. I heard. You know, we, we, I, I see you tell you know, I'm somewhat of OG, four years in now. So I seen, I seen, you know, it all or whatever. And I agree, I, I, I could totally agree with what they were saying as far as how, um, you know, different it is because we didn't know nothing. You know what I mean? I pillow to tell you, man, all the nights. Uh, uh, I, I cried, cried on, on pillow. Pillow. Uh, uh, pillow. I have about, you know, you know when is it gonna come? You know, all, all that. So, uh, like, like I said, now, now uh, since it's so much more, uh, like Rolo said, strategic, strategic to be able to get your badge, I think a lot of new badges, uh, you know, uh, they, since they didn't get it the same way, they don't really, you know, see, um, the benefits of doing anything like y'all, like, 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 I respect you a lot. You came, came out, out the gate, gate you, know, you know, content, content and everything. So I really respect all, uh, especially the top heads that actually have content in their life, uh, real motion. You know what I mean? I appreciate, I appreciate that. that. Nothing, Nothing wrong with a man shedding a little tears on a woman's pillow, pillow okay? Because she's sure trying to make sure that you come and get everything that you need. So, cry on that pillow if you need to. Um, Alright, welcome back, welcome back. 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 People that, that don't, don't even know who you are. So I'm going to say, get the chance, chance to know who you are. Don't, don't be fooled by the person trying to fool you not to get to know someone genuine. So pay attention. Pay attention to those people telling you something about the next person. Maybe they're talking about themselves. All right. So let's learn about them. He said, you know, there's um, people don't see the benefit in top badges. So Loxie. What are two pros and two cons that you would like to say? What are some good things about a top badge and what are some bad things about a top badge that you know from your own experience? Well, um, for me, the, the reason, reason I got, got my top badge was because when I was introduced to the whole streaming world, it was fun for me. You feel me? And it was important to me to continue to you know be able to reach people and share that genuine fun that I had when I got on the app. You know, I like to shoot. I I like to meet people. I like to have fun. I like connecting with people. And so um at first I didn't want my top bag. I didn't want my top bag at all because if you know me, you know I'm very, very shy. Like I'm very shy. But I had, I had great, great people, people behind me and a lot, lot of people pushing me um, and saying that, I, you know, know, I could, could show people, I guess, a different type of, of aura or whatever. So getting my top badge, uh, the benefit for me was being able to train because if I'm training, I can meet more people. I can stop them from, or I can, you know, tell them about the app or try and make it exciting for them. Um, another benefit for being a top badge is you just, it, it gives you a place where you feel like you've, you've accomplished something on here. Because after continuously, you know, getting diamonds and stuff like that, what, what else, else is there? Like, <laughs> I can go to work and make money or whatever, but what is there? So I can teach, I can meet people, I can help people create content. Because I'm shy, most of the content that I do make, I try to make for other people. You feel me? Um, so those are my, my two benefits. The cons is the negative stigma that we do get. A lot of times when I meet people in other people's stream um, and they see that I'm cool there, they'll tell me like, wow, I never went to your live because you was a top badge and people told me not to, you know, mess with top badges and things like that. And, you know, I could have met you sooner or whatever. That's one, and then 
I don't really, I, I don't really try, try and see too many negatives. You feel me? Outside of that, I, I try to focus on the positive. You know, this is a place for me to escape reality. I want to get on here and I want to have fun. What is for me is for me. You know, I'm not going to badger anyone into gifting me. I want you to come inside my stream and enjoy yourself. I want, I want you not to remember that you had a problem or whatever you had that day, the, the work day or any of that. I want you to come in, have fun, enjoy yourself. If you choose to participate in the gifting portion of the app in my stream, then more power to you. I appreciate it, you know? I've been taken care of greatly, so I don't have too many negatives. I mean, we all, get to, we all have a point in our streaming journey where we're feeling down and you know we have to step back for a minute and regain our composure because clearly that means we've gotten a little bit too invested in something and we need to kind of sit back and spend time with ourselves and you know get our minds regulated but other than that i try not to take i try not to look at things negatively i want to Positive vibrations. <laughs> oh, as much as we want positive vibrations, we still have we still have unexpected negativity and unexpected drama that happens. You can be the most positive person, but it doesn't matter if this app how positive you are. People still come <laughs> just to bother you or pick with you. So I'm going to bring it to um, Pillow because I know she can relate to giving me two. Pros that are good as a top badge and two negatives, two cons that are not so good as a top badge. Okay, um, I'll start with the pros. Um, I'm a go getter, and anything in life I've done, I've always hit the highest achievement. So when I came on tag, it was just a goal of mine. Let me, let me. How do you get that? How do you achieve that? So um, that was a big pro for me to obtain the highest. Um, you can on this app. Why wouldn't you want it? You know, the app is telling everybody on the whole app, this is our top streaming broadcaster. Go into their stream. So I wanted to obtain that. So that's the first pro. Um, the second pro is my supporters. Okay, after you obtain a top badge, right? If some people maybe just can't get one, or maybe it ain't even their intention to get one. I'll take my um, number one true all-time uh, gifter, Seven. And Sunny, yes, he's my number one on the board. But Seven is my genuine all-time gifter. And the recognition that man got alone just by carrying me is my pro. He is happy where he is on my board. It was an investment. He is glad he's made. He never has to be behind the camera to be known here on TAG. So your supporters... What you get in, they look at your board and like, I want to hit a go. I got people in my room right now. I'm trying to be number whatever. It ain't about the all-time board and where everybody else is at. It's where the supporters take pride in your room and where they are on your board. So that's my second um, pro is um, having people want to be a part of your stream and support you and obtain a high spot on your board. So they can be getting that recognition of it. They love the clout, per se, for ha having that spot. Um, the cons. Um, the entitlement and the old stories about a top to treat you this way. Come and find out. It's plenty of stories about pillow. People say this, people say that. Until you sit in my stream and type it and ask me the question, don't believe it. Hear out my mouth. Okay, so the rumors and things like that that be started and the, the bashing of a top badge just because they are a top badge. And it's going to lead into my second con is the trolls. The trolls are jealous they cannot be you or they aren't you. They didn't <laughs> obtain what you did. They didn't get um, the top badge. They ain't trending like Loxy said. They ain't um, a top streaming broadcaster. So they troll your stream. And they they broke me and they made me cry before because they figured out how to hit home, how to make this lady cry, you know, and I admit it like they the people in your live stream or trolls in your stream can slap you through this whole phone. 
They could spit on you. They could kick you in your back. You, would, you wouldn't even think. And it sounds so realistic. Like, pillow somebody spit on you. Yeah, through the phone. Somebody, you know, they done came in my stream and said something crazy to me. That's like spitting in my face. So that's the con for me. Um, and that about sums it up. I'm going to shut up. <laughs> I like it. I like it. I think you're in my head this morning because you touched on two of my questions that are to be asked here on the show. So I love it. Um, Y'all are getting the realness from these top badges here. Because King of the Bad, me and journalists. Is anybody going to mention? I'm going to talk about the Sigma. Mm -hmm. All right. She's she going to talk about the trolls. That's, That's one of my questions. And I'm going to ask that second. So I have a different question for Rello and King of Diamond. Welcome, welcome, y'all, to the show. Thank y'all so much for the gifts. Continue to support everyone here in the panel. And tag everyone here with the page. We see y'all. Y'all answers to the questions are just as important. Remember, you can drop your answers in the chat. They will be after the show at 9 a.m. So stick around, stick around for the show. All right. Well, Pillow kind of touched on one of my questions. Um, which it comes to two of them. Let me see what I want to ask you. Um, well, let's go for the clowns. All right, um, Brella. Why do you think people come to Top Badges streams as far as gifting or being around them? How can you determine who is there for clouds and who is there generally for you and not for Top Badge? Oh, um... See, that's easy for me because uh, your, your consistency is going to show me that you're not here for the clout, you know what I mean, and, and your behavior, you know what I mean? So just, just like trolls, the people who don't get the clout, if they don't get the attention that they want, they leave them, you know what I'm saying? So you just, just don't, don't give them no attention and they're going to be gone. Okay, okay, okay. So consistency is one. Let's see if you guys have anything different. How do you determine someone is not around you for the clout, but they're generally there for you? And give us some examples of how you know someone's there for clout. Let's see. Um, examples on how you know somebody's there for clout. Uh, when, you know, people tend to do this. I don't know y'all experience this. I know it's a lot of stream, top streamers in here. Uh, people come to your live, you know, you cool with them or whatever, and they come to your live. And they answered it, hit it, hit it, hit it, pull up, hit that box button. And they say nothing. You like, oh, whoa! This is my house, you know what I mean? You got to treat it like, you know, it's more so of a respect thing. And then they get up in the box and they start talking about, well, man, you know, you know, my, I lost my foot last week. You know, I, you, you know, my fish died and, you know, I had to. Pay for the whole funeral, you know what I mean? And then they get up in there and they make the stream. That's how you can kind of tell like what's going on, you know what I mean? Uh, let's build that relationship up where you know how my stream runs. And if you and if you really weren't here for the clout, then you would know that this ain't that type of live. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, that, that's kind of an example of it. And pretty much just piggybacking off, uh, you know, what the panel's saying, yeah, man. Um, I mean, well, 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 said, like, you, you see the difference. You know the difference with who's genuinely there for you. And, you know, who, the, the, you, you know when they're, they're, they're not there for clout, when, when it's just you and uh, it's just you and them in the live. Because, you know, live don't always stay popping. You know what I mean? And it's just you and them in the live, and they sit in there. Uh, hold, uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to watch some of these videos for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's, that's how you know. Right when, when, when that, that's, that's when, when you know when you when you when you see the genuine um, actions, you know what I mean. So yeah, like it's easy for me. Uh, absolutely, I like it, and I like the example that you gave. So someone mentioned this in the after show last week that sometimes people are dead downers. You know, you can be having a great stream, and they come in with these sob stories, or they tell you about sometimes they need help. Um, one of my favorite lines is, I will rule somebody out the box because if you are not paying attention um, to what we are talking about, X. So remember to always read the room when you come into somebody, somebody's stream. Respect the streamer is what I'm going to always say. Remember your host is to be treated and then everyone else. I have a, a thing about that. Um, 
And remember, if you want to promote yourself, ask permission from the host industry. Is it okay that I promote my content? Because sometimes people will get clout. They will come to your stream to promote themselves just to draw people into their stream. So there are some um, rules and etiquettes when you go to other people's streams. Some people will just get you um, and not come back. Um, so remember consistency. If you pay attention to that consistency, remember a gift is a gift. Uh, and we're going to get into the gifts in a minute. But put a little touch on my second question. So we're just going to go ahead and ask Loxy and then we're going to put it on to Pillow. Is there such thing as good trolls and bad trolls? And if so, give us the difference between a good troll and a bad troll. I'm probably the worst person to ask that question. I love all my trolls. You t- Look, I can turn a negative into a positive as much as I can. Don't come into my life and try to troll me because you're going to be mad because you're going to get all the sweetness and the loving and the care as you as I can. And if you are really disrespectful, you feel me? Because I know that I'm nice to people and I like to give off good energy, I don't want any any negative, negative karma and stuff. When, when people, people are mean in my eyes, it means, ooh, God, God open the door for me to get some of this little anger out. out. You feel me? <laughs> so I, I try, try to, to um, I play with them a little bit. You feel me? That and and it's, it's fun. fun. Turn them into content. Everything, everything can be. I mean, a lot of stuff can be. I can't say everything can be positive. A lot of stuff can be positive. If, if it's not, if if, if, if I, I see that trolls are, I mean, that, that my stream is being entertained by my interaction with the troll, it's a good troll. Whether they saying whatever or not, you feel me? It, it's a good troll. Like, bad trolls. Bad trolls are. I I I, 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 don't know. I think that, I don't know. Because, because I, I, I feel as though people are, no, no matter whether they come in and try to be negative, negative or, or positive, people have, people are real. real. Like, this, this, this that, that, we can turn off, off but that's, that's a real person. person. And, and there's, there's a story behind why that person is coming into, into your life and trying to troll the way that they are. Sometimes that sometimes they've been on this app. They've been people who have streamed and have um, tried to, you know, be successful in here, and it didn't work out for them. And so they're moving out of hurt, you know. And I, yeah, some of them are successful too. Yeah, a lot. Of, <laughs> but still, it all they still real people moving out of some kind of negative place. And, you know, you know, if you, you want, want to come, come here, here, I'm going to tell you all the positive stuff until you leave. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, Mom, Mom didn't hug you when I was here. Like, you need a hug. Virtual hugs, everybody. Everybody, everybody put, put in, in some virtual hugs, hugs in, in, the, in the comments. You heard? Like, <laughs> um, it, it can all be positive. positive. I like that. So you're a bundle of joy, all right? Um, you embrace um, the trolls. Me, good or bad, I would never know. If I'm going to troll me, it's an instant kick in the um, I ain't got time to determine to figure out whether you're a good troll or a bad troll. This is the only day that y'all get safe in the street is on show day. So don't control the door. I'm not as nice as I'm not as nice as I'm <laughs> All right. Uh, I commend you on that, um, Loxy. Now, I have a follow-up question for you, Loxy, before I bring it over to Pillow. Um, this October crowd is just running in my head just now. Is, is it true? Do you have uh, a backup troll page? true that all top badges have troll pages? Do you troll? Okay, I do troll. I don't have any more backup pages or whatever, but I used to create backup pages because a lot of times when you gift a person, a lot of times when you gift a person, they kind of feel obligated to come back to you. And so I, when there's people who touch me in a certain kind of way, and I really want them to take their blessing and not even know where to take it back to, I'll create a page. And, and I'll go gift on there. there. And, and I call it a troll page, page, yes, because I like, I like to make, make funny names like that pertains to the person that I made this page for. for. And, and I will literally dedicate maybe uh, two to three weeks, maybe a month, depending on the interaction. And 
that's the only page I will, that's the only um, streamer I will allow that page to level up on, you know? And so it was just a way for me to show like anonymous love. They, it was fun too. <laughs> you, look, Michi said you ain't never lied. <laughs> his name but um his name was john john he had a show enough picture right there and john john Rello, remember him he laughed and, um john john would come in and say something like let me smell the back of your kneecaps and then i'll be like john john gone and um i'll ask for something on purpose and he'll say hey, pillow i'm broke today and throw me a, a two cent gift now i continue on with the stream and he'll throw you a dragon so like that was a bomb troll. Miss John John, wish people like that come back because he was just here to bless us. And there wasn't no giving back. And and that was a troll. Uh, bad troll, I touched on it a little bit ago when the person um, actually made me cry. It was somebody who found pictures of my deceased sister. And um, they put her image on the screen with her name. And as soon as that walked into my stream, of course, till tears fell. You know, that's my sister. We're only four years apart. And super close, so they hit home with that troll. Um, ain't no talking to her, none of that. So, yeah, that's my example of a good and bad troll. Most of the other ones I play with and talk to and um, say something to, depending on my energy. Like, if I'm high and happy, then I might play with you. If I'm busy and doing something like my feature show, um, no, I ain't about to fool with you. I don't even see you because I don't got time to read the chat during my feature. So, like, um, most of them, you could talk to and make a troll that came in there to troll you like you. Because y'all remember Troll Game and, and um, Mike and all them, and they end up liking me. They tried to troll me, and then I was too sweet. They end up liking me, so, you know. <laughs> I, I like that. that. I like, I like that. that. And, and I have, have a same, same follow-up follow question for you. you. Is it true that... that Top badges, badges we have in a troll count, and you have one. And if so, how do you use it? No, I ain't got time. Um, <laughs> my real life, <laughs> people already complain. Like, Jay been asking me to come in his stream. Like, I ain't trying to be funny. I don't go to everybody's stream. That's my worst fault on here. Um, when I get off a tag, I get off a tag. If you live right before, I, while I'm getting dressed to go live, I'm coming to your stream. It's usually one streamer, and I'm going to sit there the whole hour while I'm getting ready, and then I'm going to go live myself. So I don't have time for the bull and all of that. So no. <laughs> all right. No to the second troll page. Now we're going to top, top, um, tap into last week's question, which was inspired by Pillow. We're going to ask these two guys about it. I see all y'all there in chat. Thank y'all so much for participating. Make sure y'all fave everyone here in the panel. Make sure y'all go ahead and support the panel as well. Y'all going to learn something about them in a few minutes. We have an after show in about 14 minutes. So y'all get in the date box and put your perspective on these questions that I am asking here. I hope y'all are taking notes and learning something here from all the top badges here on the panel. Um, so, Rello, this is inspired by Pillow. Um, she made a video um, on her Instagram about people coming to your stream, whether it's a feature show, whether it's a content, whether it's an option, whether it's um, content that you're displaying, or they're just coming to your stream on a regular basis. And they are not supported or gifted. Now, they don't came to your stream multiple times. How do you feel about people coming to your stream multiple times and have not supported your stream? Does that bother you? Or are you okay with people coming consistently without supporting? Um, and I talk monetarily. Yeah. I think you misunderstood that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Because... It wasn't made in regards to nothing you just said. I'm sorry, huh? So if if you want to bounce off of it, can I just reiterate at least so? so I'm, just, I'm just putting it in, in, in total. I know it was just for your stream, but I'm just doing it in general. Okay, I'm okay. So it's in, okay, okay. But yeah, um, 
I think, I think sometimes, sometimes a lot, lot of people, people are busy, busy so, so they tune in like the radio. They, they might put the phone down, down and be moving around at work, be doing, doing stuff. And then um, when, when it comes to gifting, <laughs> I, I, I had somebody, somebody that, that that hopped in the box one day, day and was like, I've been watching you for two months and I ain't never said that they didn't drop dragons. So, you know what I'm saying? You just never know. Uh, what, what, what they got going on on the other side of the screen, as long as they, you know what I mean? As long as they ain't bothering you, because some people bother them, you know what I mean? It, it, it can't bother you to have people come in and out of your lab if you were streaming, because you're supposed to be streaming, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't going to worry about that, you know what I mean? You got to worry about the people who is there and interact with it. So, uh, but yeah, sometimes the people come out to cut with a, with a blessing. Okay, so, so I'm going to ask you to reverse. Do you constantly go to people's streams? Uh, consistently, you like their content, you see them, um, would you go in and not get their support to stream consistently? Are you going to make a couple of visits, go on for weeks, months, and not support? Do you do that? I don't know. I can't do that. I'm different, though. I'm, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people, uh, a go somewhere or or, or be somewhere and, and you, you do the same thing, thing you know what I'm saying? Come, come on, now, you gotta, gotta treat, treat that person like you wanna be treated. treated. You know what I mean? You don't want them to come in your life and be all dry, just lurking, not getting do something, interact with the comments, you know what I'm saying? You know how this work going like you do. So nah, I'm not gonna do that. Okay, okay. Even if you're broke you ain't got it. We got, got free videos, videos that everybody can watch. watch. Okay, so, so remember, remember, right here, earn some goals. Right here, you can click on the video, and tag allows you to be able to watch those free videos. So you still find a way that you can support. All right, King of Diamonds, same question to you. How do you feel about people constantly coming to the stream, consistently coming to your stream? Obviously, they must like some type of content. They must like something about you, that they're constantly keep coming, but they never, ever press a gift in your stream. How does that make you feel? Um, it doesn't make me feel no type of way, because at the end of the day, um, it's, it's those, you know, those people's they just they money. You know what I mean? And then at the same time, um a lot of people don't know. You know what I mean? So for the people that know, there's like a I mean it's almost like a respect thing. You know what I mean? And you know, over time because a lot of time people ask you, uh, why are you red in here? And, and I, I turn around and ask them, why are you ain't gifted here? What did you say? saying? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, it comes, you know, in waves, waves right? right? You're, You're going to see some people that, you know, like Rolo said, said, I mean, they, they might not say, they, they might not, uh, you know, uh, be engaging. Like, uh, one of my uh, top givers all the time, just never talk, talk. Just, just came in there, just dragging, just dragging. You know, all that type of stuff, one of my top all the time. And never, never talked, period. You know what I'm saying? saying? They, they just started kind of talking last year when they started streaming. Um, so, so, you know, you never know. know. You know what I mean? Um, uh, some, some people are nervous. nervous. Some, some people don't, don't like to be seen. seen. You know what I mean? mean especially, uh, uh, I'm, I'm doing a show, they know it's being recorded. And, you know, people get nervous. They go, oh, it's being recorded. Let me stop talking. Let me not do anything. You know what I mean? But for me, um, you know, uh, I reward those in the stream, like, like the real supporters. You know what I mean? I always got something going on uh, for my people that really support me. So they, they kind of be my, my main focus and then kind of everybody else. It's just, you know, it is what it is. Y'all can enjoy the show. All right. Now I'm going to ask you the same question I asked Rello. Do you go to people's streams consistently? And not support monetarily, not gifts. And if so, why? Or why not? Um, no, nah, I don't go to people's streams consistently. You know, uh, not gifts. If I come to your stream, I'm, I'm sending, you know, a little something or whatever. You know what I mean? Uh, just like I said, on a respect level, 
Uh, hey, I'm coming over and seeing what's going on. And if I come to your stream consistently and you ain't never in the camera, don't expect no gift. <laughs> nah, facts. <laughs> I come over there, you just talk. You like, hey, hey, King guys, how you doing? Like, where, where you at? You want me to see you give to the dog? I don't give to the dog. I give to the light. <laughs> I like it. Come, Come to the, the light. light. Come, Come to the light. light. All right, y'all. We have about seven more minutes left for this show. I hope y'all learned something here in chat. Now we're going to go to stream rules. As a top badges or as a streamer, you should have some type of stream rules or expectations. So let's learn what theirs are. Lots Do you have stream rules and expectations for your stream? And if so, can you share a few of them with us? Maybe I don't, I don't think, think I, I do. do. <laughs> like, come, come here, have fun. You feel me? Like, are you, you ready to come into? You did not come on here to to be told what to do. I don't. I'm going to come in. I'm going to create energy in my stream. If you fit in that energy, you would. You you will be a part of the flow. You feel me? And if you don't, I'm not gonna allow you to control me. But you're gonna leave. I don't, I, don't, I, don't I don't think I've ever had to sit down and make a rule. Don't, don't, don't ask me out. out. Is, Is that, that a rule? rule? Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> don't, don't ask me out. out. That's, that's, that's something weird. weird. People, People do come in and say, hey, are you single? Can, can I talk to you? Call me real quick. DM me. Like, bro, do you, do you see the, the, how many people that came in here before you? There you go right there. You know, that's always awkward to me. But, I don't know, I ain't never really, really had to, to, you know. know. I just, I, I can't. Can't. She's she's bundle bundle joy. Joy. I'm just going to say, you just my bundle of joy. You just so sweet, girl. I just try, my energy, my energy, my energy really don't argue in the box. box. My, my energy doesn't, doesn't really bring for that type of place where I have, have to make certain rules and regulations. I don't have a, a certain, uh, like, what do you call those? Um, like, you have to give a gift for a badge or anything like that. No, like, come in, be consistent, talk to me. I'm gonna, if you seem like a cool person, you're going to get a badge. If you've been coming in here three days straight, you feel me? You, you ain't got no ring or anything. You, you, you getting interested. You starting to look at videos. You heard, like... I'd be going crazy over beach balls if somebody with no ring sent me a beach ball. Like, why did you get this? Like, <laughs> you hitting buttons. Oh, my God. They just sent some heart out. It's like. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Thank you for the beach balls, y'all. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Hello. Uh, as a streamer, do you have any rules or expectations for your stream? I do. Um, to turn red in my room is a genuine gift of a dragon, and I bring in that entertaining and that con um, content. I mean, I ain't trying to brag, but streamer and MVP ain't sitting in here up here for nothing. Even if it is for a past year, it's still a goal I achieved, and um, I know what I bring to the app. So, yes, that gift is required to turn red in my room. You probably ain't going to get kicked out, so just, you know, chill out, relax. If somebody is in a box, which is rare, I really don't use the boxes in my room, and one of my reds throw a crown, that means you're getting out the box. I don't know why. That's just always been one of my rules. They don't want to hear you I talking. Like that. Yeah, like, <laughs> and they, they do it all the time. Somebody come in and chase me for clout, trying to, you know, do what Kingy said, um, come in the top badge room and be on your platform and get your clout. So they in there just talking about something to the left. And I might not be paying them no attention and just go ahead and let them talk. And then Versace, who was here, throw a crown like, I came to see Pillow. Get out the box. So as simple as that, um, if I say Uber, that means one of my reds is going to pull whoever that person, that name is, after I said Uber uh, pull up greatness and, and uh, auction 913 going to snatch greatness right out my stream because I said so. So I got a couple rules. There's probably a couple more, um, but that would be for the show for quickness. Yeah. I love it. I love I'm it. Playing I love it. I'm playing greatness. I'm playing greatness, you know. <laughs> I'm Mr. October. <laughs> he about to get him because he's my red. <laughs> 
Yeah, <laughs> no, 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 no. All right, no. well, uh, what which favorite rules, rules do you have? Um, I ain't got too many rules. Um, the only rule I got for real is if you're gonna be a uh, negative arguing, you need to be gifted while you're doing it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. I like, I like that rule. So you don't right. let him hold the argument if you get a gift. Yeah, I mean, hey, look, y'all, y'all, y'all need, need to hash it out in here. Go ahead. You need to be gifted right here. I'm about to use right. that, Rello. I'm all about right. to use that. Y'all learned some new stuff. All right. Hey. All right. Hey, Kidan, what is the rule that you have in your stream that we may not know about? Okay, hold on. I guess. This is probably the biggest rule of the stream right here. You know, the pins. We have, we are all grown. You don't need to be wearing shit at diaper. We don't need to be wearing diapers. We have a grown people conversation. Everything don't depend on the planets, the sun, the moon, the stars will align for you to answer a question, yes or no. And that's like probably the biggest rule. No depends. Because people, people swear, it depends on, you know, if it was a leap year, it's you know, my own pen on all that. <laughs> yeah, no pins. That's, that's the biggest rule right there. there. Most definitely, uh, you know, um, we just started this this year. Uh, when we're not doing, like, content or we're not having content that uh, like, pertaining to these rules, then we don't, we don't, uh, like, especially the rules are, uh, no, no profanity, profanity. absolutely no, no profanity, profanity for our, for our ladies. That is so that we can protect your image as a lady at all times, right? Um, we don't say the N word. We don't say the. Go. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> all right. We don't say the N word. We don't say the B word or the A word unless we're having a conversation uh, specifically about that. And, and I think that. Um, you know, you know, at the end of the day, uh, they weed out, you know, a lot of people that really weren't there for me, they were there for the clout. Because if you can't do those simple rules in the live, and if, you, I mean, if you break those rules, I mean, of course there's consequences and things like that. But uh, if you can't handle those rules in the live, or any of the stream of rules that they set for the live, just go to my All that, you, you don't respect me then, if you can't handle the simple rules. So, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, well, y'all, we have came to the end of our show here. After we get to know a little bit about everyone here in the panel, make sure y'all tap and hit them with the A. We're going to have Princess come up and answer her question from last week um, after everybody introduced themselves. So we're going to start with Not Loxy. You can tell them a little bit about yourself, what you got going on, when they can bathe you, and when they can get streaming. Um, I'm Not Loxy. <laughs> Uh, my name is because I was on here before I took a year break and during that break I spent time with myself, had to grow, you feel me? I'm not the same person I used to be. Um, I stream Monday through Friday at 10 p.m. Eastern um, and I, I'm promoting a show called Chunky Treats right now. Um, it's a BBW competition that I'm doing at the end of September. The projected date is September 27th. Um, and it's a BBW competition meant to uplift and you know inspire them to feel good about who they are and the body that they're in right now. We can always get better, but it's okay to love yourself right now. You're sweet, you're worth it, people love you, you feel me? You you just got to see that. And so um, the competition, they're going to be uh, creating looks. They're going to be creating looks inspired by their favorite treats. And um, we're just going to have fun, you know? We got a lot of sponsors for that day. I got five great judges, Geo, Supernova, I got people, people from, from other apps coming. It's, it's been, been done, done on other apps. I've done it on other apps. And, you know, we're just trying to make this thing right. We're trying to spread positivity, love, self-awareness, just 
everything. You know, you just, just have a lot of fun out here. But baby, come see me. If y'all got some fat friends, pretty hot and tempted, you feel me? Tell them to fade me and come get a dragon, baby. All right? A gold one. It's pretty. It's pretty. Thank you for having me. I appreciate you. You're welcome. And Pillow, tell me a little bit about yourself, what you got going on, and if you can catch your streaming. I'm Pillow. Um, I have a feature show that comes on every Thursday at 5 p.m. Y'all can catch me tonight at 5 p.m. for my show. It's called I Know You. If you'd like to be a guest on it, the show is for top badges and up-and-coming top badges. I also host auctions. The next one is Halloween, so if y'all would like to be in an auction, that's all genuine love. Um, you can hit me up and um, I play my games in my stream. If they ain't genuinely gifting you a dragon in yours, come over here and win one for yourself and mine that you can keep. And thank you so much for having me, Strawberry. This has been amazing. Thank, thank you so much, Pillow. It's a pleasure. Thank, thank you. you. Yeah. And Rao, tell a little bit about yourself and what you got going on and when you can get your stream. Okay. Um, you can catch, catch me this weekend. weekend. I, got I got a talent, talent auction on Sunday. Sunday. Um, if y'all into auctions, if you're into talent, come come get you some talent. If uh, the number one gifted uh, person in auction, whoever wins, they got to perform for you in your lab. Um, so that's how they go with this auction, my auction. If you win that person, they got to perform for you. So come through Sunday and uh, get you a performer or two, you know what I'm saying? Let's go. go. But other than that, man, uh, longest running show on the app, Hot Topic, Topic Tuesday, every Tuesday, Tuesday, 9 o'clock, man. Make sure y'all tap, tap me and hit me with the fave. And uh, hit me on IG, everything man. there. We doing a whole lot. Appreciate you. All right. Thank, thank you. you. I'll, I'll be there. Send me fire. Non-leaning supporters. All right. Keep your Tell me a little bit about what you got going on and when they can get your Most definitely. Thank you again for having me on the show. You know what I mean? Thursdays, 9 p.m. Eastern, uh, I host the longest running music showcase show featured by the app. Um, Kyle Getting Lit, if you rap, you sing, um, tap in with me. I'm always looking for artists, uh, you know, to feature on our show and things like that. Uh, come through uh, to the live every day. We got a lot of different things going on. You just have to. Hit me with the fave, tap on um, social media icons. Go check out my uh, YouTube, uh, YouTube backslash getting lit. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it, yeah, thing, man. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got the Red Rello, and now we got uh, the longest running versus uh, show this morning. Make sure y'all tap in with the Red Rello right now. It's every Thursday, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern. So check us out on Tuesday mornings. Tuesday and Thursday mornings, uh, 9 a.m. Eastern, too. But yeah, man, this was fun. I'm going to let y'all go get the show started. All right. Thank, Thank you, Nina Diamond. Y'all make sure y'all tap in. And, and we have Princess here. Her question from last week was about shade room. She didn't get a chance to answer the question, so can I have her answer the question? What are your thoughts um, on the... It was the shade room. I'm, I'm, I'm saying don't answer the question. What makes you think I'm going to answer the question? Yeah, the question at the end of the show, so you give your perspective on it. What are your thoughts about the shade room? Last week, I had to tell them the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, do you think the shade room should be based 